Saturday morning. I'm Wendy. You have found Wendy's Weight Watcher Journey. And if you are already family on this channel, a big, big welcome back. If you are just now finding me, welcome to the family. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload. I upload maybe a couple times a week, um, sometimes three if, if I can find the time. I have an at-home gift business, so sometimes it gets a little crazy and I get a little busy with that. But I wanted to break away this morning and show you one of my very favorite soups in the whole wide world. This is gonna be an Instant Pot recipe. Now don't fear if you don't have an Instant Pot, I feel 100% certain you can make this on the stove with no problem. Um, in fact, I made a lot of my soups on the stove before I got my Instapot. Now, I use my Instapot a lot because it's quick. It, it's just a huge time saver. And I really feel like the food gets infused with all the flavors um, so much better than just cooking it on the stove in a shorter amount of time. So, I found this recipe, this knockoff recipe for chicken gnocchi soup. That is my favorite soup in the whole world. When we go to Olive Garden, I really have to restrain myself because you know when you get soup salad and breadsticks, they will just keep bringing it until you say no more. So I really just limit myself to one bowl, um, maybe two if I've really saved up the, the Weight Watcher points for it. And I usually only get one breadstick because I could eat a whole basket and I really don't want 12 points in breadstick when I would rather have my soup. So, with all that being said, this knockoff recipe, it is not really any more Weight Watcher friendly point wise than what's at Olive Garden. But the benefit is, is that I can make it, I can control what goes in it, I know the ingredients are fresh, and I can put it in my freezer. So, if there's a time that I just want chicken gnocchi soup, I can go to the freezer and I can get it out and I can have it. With this tonight, I'm gonna to make the Weight Watcher almost two ingredient dough um, garlic bread. So that'll be a couple extra points for that. So I think my dinner will be 10 points. I've already allotted for it and I know it's um, gonna happen. And so I'm very, very excited. Now, without further ado, let me turn you down and show you what's in it. I will link the original recipe in the description box when I post the video along with a typed out version and any changes that I made to it because there are a couple things that I, I had to adjust because I couldn't find. They would have made the points lower, but um, I couldn't find them. So this is, this is what we're going with and I'm going to be perfectly happy with it. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Let me move my Instant Pot a little bit for you. Okay. What is in this recipe is a tablespoon of olive oil, minced garlic, about a teaspoon or one clove if you're mincing it fresh, two tablespoons of butter. I am going to use real butter because I feel like it will give the flavor that it needs. And I'm not going for like super low in points. I'm just going for that flavor of that soup because that is, that's what I love. And on Weight Watchers, we can have the real thing. We don't have to skimp and scrounge and just not have the things we love because if we do that, we will binge later. Okay, also we've got about a small onion diced. We've got just three little ribs of celery. It called for two stalks of celery. I am not a fan of celery, so I put in what I thought would be sufficient for the recipe. We've got a cup of julienne carrots. Now, this is where my points are coming from. This little bad baby right here, this little gnocchi. Now, I was looking for cauliflower gnocchi because it would have cut the points way down, but I could not find it. So I am opting to go with the potato gnocchi and just do the points for it because I think even that will be more authentic and I think I'll be happier with the recipe. Going with a couple cups of chopped spinach. It called for one, but I'm adding extra just to bulk it up a little bit. Um, you'll notice in my last grocery haul that I bought this Members Mark Smoked Pulled Chicken at Sam's. I am using that because it's already got so much flavor in it. You can use any rotisserie chicken. You can boil your chicken breast. You could do really any, any way you want on the chicken. But I'm using two cups of this already shredded pulled chicken. Uh, it's got a teaspoon of thyme and just salt and pepper to taste. So that is all of the, oh, wait a minute. I forgot, uh, flour, half a cup of flour and about five cups of chicken broth, I forgot the most important things, and two cups of fat-free half and half. 
Now, half and half is hard to find. I was lucky I found um, one container at Walmart, so I grabbed it up. So that is all of the ingredients right here. Now, I'm going to turn on my Instapot. We're going to get it hot, and we are going to start. So let me let my Instapot come up to temperature, and I will be right back to show you cooking. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. The Instapot is warmed up. I'm going to add my olive oil and my butter. Okay, get that going. The olive oil and the butter together, the olive oil will keep the butter from burning. You can hear that sizzle already. All right, I'll let that melt just a little bit. And to that, I am going to add our onion. Ooh, it's a good one. Our onion, our celery, and our carrot. Maybe my screen won't fog up here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let that go for just a few minutes. Maybe, maybe five minutes, I think. Um, oh, it's already smelling good. These vegetables smell yummy. That onion and the celery together, even though I don't like the taste of celery, I like how it smells. Okay, I'm gonna let this go for four or five minutes, um, just until they get really soft. Let me add in the garlic. Okay. Now, drop down in the comments below and tell me what you are doing on this very beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. Yesterday, we had high winds and storms in our state most of the day. So, it was kind of an icky day yesterday. But today, it's sunshiny and it's beautiful. And um, I'm going to be doing my soup here and making my bread. And working in my home office, I've got a couple orders to get out by the first of the week. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'd love to hear what you're doing or what you're cooking or even how your Weight Watcher week is gone. Um, how was your weigh-in this week? Uh, anything you wanna drop in the comments and tell me, I'd love to hear from you guys. Y'all have been so positive and so encouraging to my new channel and just supported it so much. I appreciate it. And I wanna support you guys. So I'm excited to hear what you're gonna tell me. I weighed in on Thursday. Thursday is our weigh day, my husband and I. And we both did have a loss this week. He is down, um, I think 36 pounds even, which is fabulous. Maybe a little, little bit more this week. And I essentially maintained for the month of February, which is what my goal was. Um, some of you saw in one of my videos, I was having to struggle with medication. So I did have a small loss um, 0.6, but I really wasn't trying to lose, wasn't trying to gain. I was just trying to stay the same. And so for the whole month of February, I did that. So I was very, very proud of that. And I know some of you have a lot of weight to lose. Some of you have a little bit of weight to lose. And some of you are just maintaining. And um, it doesn't matter. That, this channel is for everybody. And we are here to support everybody. Okay, y'all, this is smelling so good. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna let this go just another couple minutes. This is quick. This Once these vegetables saute and we add in the broth and our chicken and, and the spices, this cooks for only 15 minutes. And we'll let it release for about five minutes. We'll add in our last few ingredients. So, including the saute, um, you're looking at maybe 30, 35 minutes um, after you get your vegetables. Um, chopped and ready to go. If you buy them pre-chopped, then that's even more of a time saver. And sometimes I, I will pay for that convenience. Um, I did for the carrots this time. Chopped everything else, but I didn't want to chop matchstick carrots, so I did buy a bag. Um, so sometimes we're just super busy. We we have a lot going on in our life. We work. We're moms. We're grandmoms, and we just we're busy. And where we can have the convenience items, you know, we do. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. You can get super healthy convenience items if you if you really look for them. Okay, we've got just a couple more minutes. Everything is starting to get soft. The onions are getting translucent. Okay. Now, let's see. Make sure I don't miss a step here, guys. I am subject to in this kitchen. I am a hot mess in the kitchen. I am not a chef. I'm not a baker. Um, thank goodness my husband loves what I make to eat, or we would be in trouble. Okay. Just another 
maybe minute on this. Y'all see my shirt? Oh, it's backwards now. Let the shenanigans begin. Uh-huh, it's March. It's that time of year. Uh, it, it's St. Patrick's Day coming up, and it's just a fun time of year. Spring is springing everywhere. The pollen is blooming, I like to say. So it's just a happy time of year for me. I, I love spring coming out of, out of the winter jury month. Okay, I think we're good. I think this is sauteed enough. So now I am going to add in my, it called for four cups of chicken broth, but I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add five, just, just to make it a little more brothy. Okay, so I'm adding in this one whole container, and then I have another cup that I'm gonna add in as well. that. All right, so I'm going to stir this frequently. Now I'm going to let this continue to cook for about maybe five more minutes. So I'm going to just come right back when that is done so you're not hanging on for five minutes. So I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. It has sauteed for another five minutes. I am now going to add my rotisserie chicken, my pulled, my pulled chicken, and I'm going to add the thyme. Sprinkle that right in. Give that a stir, good stir. Okay, I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, just a pinch of each. Okay. And a pinch of salt. You can always add more salt and pepper later. I don't like to overdo it because can't take it out once I get it in there. And we are kind of watching a little bit of sodium at our house as much as we can. All right. Now, all of this is combined and mixed together. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put my lid on. Put my lid on. Maybe. There we go. I'm going to make sure that it's on seal position. I'm going to cancel the saute. And I'm going to just pressure cook it on high for 15 minutes. Oh, hold on. I get a little confused on this new. There we go. I had to get. I had to get the right button pressed. Okay, 15 minutes is what I'm going to set it for. So I am going to hit start. Okay, here we go. Now we are cooking for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, I will be back to show you. What, what last few ingredients go in and what it looks like. It'll have um, 15 minute cook time. It will have a five minute natural release time and then I'll release the rest of the steam. I'll add in the gnocchi, the half and half, the spinach, and then it's gonna saute with the lid off for about five minutes and then it's going to be ready. Okay, I'm so excited. All right, I know some of you might be afraid of a pressure cooker. But I will tell you, this is not your grandmother's pressure cooker. I can remember as a little girl, my grandmother's pressure cooker blowing up into the ceiling. I was afraid for a really, really long time to have one of these new Instant Pots. But once I got it, I am hooked. They are really safe. You actually, I couldn't imagine someone being able to get the lid off without all of this pressure being released. It's just, it's impossible. Uh, it really is. So they're safe. They make your meal time um, so quick, cooking your meals so quick, and gives you more family time, more time um, just after work to relax. You can slow cook in these, you can, um, you know, instant cook in these, you can do so many things. You can make yogurt, you can, could you imagine making your Greek yogurt? I've done that before and it's fabulous. There's so many things that you can do with these. You can make soups, you can make beans. Um, it's really one versatile kitchen tool. I, I would not be without it. I think this is my third. Um, I've upgraded every time. Even our son took one to college with him. He cooks several of his most favorite meals in the Instant Pot and he, he loves it. So I say if a 21 year old college guy can do it, anybody can do it. So. I'll link the one that I use down below in the description box when I post the video and just check it out. There's um, all different sizes, all different models, all different brands. Um, they all do basically the same thing. 
So I'll be back once this is cooked and we will take a peek at it and add the last few ingredients. And at the very, very end, we'll do a little taste test. I'll see you soon. Okay guys, we're back. It's been 15 minutes, or maybe 20 minutes actually, because we've let it do a five minute natural release and I've just finished releasing the, pr the rest of the pressure. So we're gonna open it up and add the rest of our ingredients. Let me turn you down so we can see what it's looking like. I can tell you that it smells fabulous. Okay, Woo. fogged up my screen there. Okay, that is smelling delicious. Okay, now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So that is going to be, well, first of all, let's cancel this. Let's go back to saute because we've got to get it on saute so we can finish up the recipe. So here we go. We're going to add in our gnocchi. Look at these cute little babies. Okay, let's add those in. Give that a quick little stir. Okay. All right, we're going to add in the gnocchi and we are going to add our spinach. Okay. That in. We're going to add in our half and half. Okay. Give that a quick little stir. All right, that's looking nice and creamy. That spinach is already starting to wilt. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my flour a little bit at a time. So we can kind of get that incorporated with as few lumps as possible. Oh guys, it's already smelling yummy. Okay. Almost got our flour incorporated. It's looking like chicken gnocchi soup, that is for sure. Now this is gonna saute on high for about five minutes. Not gonna keep you that whole entire time. I'm gonna bring you back after we have sauteed and are ready to taste test. Alrighty, can you see how creamy and delicious and that little bit of a smoky flavor, that smell from the smoky pulled chicken is coming through. I just know this is going to be fabulous. I don't know how many cups this is gonna make don't know how many servings exactly. I don't think it's gonna make the eight that I had originally said. So it's probably gonna be a little higher point dinner than what I originally said, but that's okay. I am perfectly okay with it because this is just one of those meals that is, is worth the um, indulgence, in my opinion. There may be a way, um, like I said, if you find the um, cauliflower gnocchi to lighten it up even more. Um, other than that, I don't know, maybe if you used almond milk, possibly, and not, if you used almond milk, possibly, and not the half and half, that would, of course, um, lighten it up a little bit more, but I don't mind the, the points for the fat-free half and half for the richness of this, so when this sautés for about five minutes and gets good and thick, I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay guys, we're back. It is finished. Let me show you how thick it looks. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Smelling so good. Okay, did you notice? Look what I also made in the meantime while it was finishing the saute. Weight Watcher almost two ingredient dough. I doubled the batch. Actually, instead of getting 12 little biscuits, I got 16. So that's gonna make each biscuit, I think one point. I'm gonna go in and do the math and I will link the video um, for this down below in the description as well. But let's taste test. Ready? Okay. Make sure to get one of those little gnocchis in there. All right. Moment of truth, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, the only thing I, thing I think it needs is a little more salt. Other than that, it is perfect. It is going to give me that taste that I want, that I've been wanting for a while. And I'll be able to put some in the freezer for those days that I'm just craving it and I want to 
to really be mindful of what I'm eating and not go to Olive Garden and have four bowls. So um, this way, if I have to thaw it out, I'll think a little bit more about it and I'll just have the one serving. And my little biscuits will be so yummy with dinner tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and make them so they're ready. So when my husband gets home, we only have to just sit down and eat. So I wanna thank you so much for staying with me for this recipe. I know it was a little bit long, but it's really worth it. Um, if we can make the things that we love make them our way, lighten them up or not, but just have the freedom to have fresh ingredients, control what goes in it, and not deny ourselves. We are gonna do so much better on this journey. Um, Weight Watchers is not about self-denial. Weight Watchers is a lifelong, healthy lifestyle. That's And that's eating those foods that we love, whether it's chicken gnocchi soup or a piece of birthday cake. We have to go through our life and have those things. So. We just have to figure out a way to make it happen. And I am happy to be able to jump on here and show you the things that we love, the things that keep us on track and um, getting to goal for my husband and staying at goal for me. And I'm just happy that you come along for the ride. Like I said, I'm just a girl in my kitchen trying to stay at Lifetime and get my husband there. So we are all friends and family in this kitchen and I'm so happy you joined me today. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell. And I'll be back really soon with another recipe. I think the next thing I'm gonna film is my turkey taco um, stuffed potatoes, or I may make it pulled pork barbecue stuffed potatoes. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll see what my husband wants to do, but that is a really quick, easy, fun recipe and very, very tasty. So you know what I'm gonna say, it's beautiful today where I'm at and I hope it is where you're at and it's early in the day. So get out and do something for yourself today. Put yourself first just once. Take a walk or take a nap, read a book. Um, something that makes you feel really good inside and recharged so that you can take care of yourself. So then you can care for your loved ones. Okay guys, I'm gonna see you really, really soon. Have an amazing rest of your day.